I just uh, saw your very entertaining lecture on uh, entropy and time, um, in which you propose that a minor fluctuations in vacuum energy were responsible for the creation of universes. And my question is, why should there be fluctuations? Isn't it equally possible that there were none? It turns out that we actually know a lot about what the predictions are for a universe that is full of vacuum energy. It's the same kind of reasoning that was uh, caused a great stir in the 1970s when Stephen Hawking realized that black holes were not completely black. When you take the idea of a black hole, a, a place in the universe where the gravitational field has become so strong that nothing can escape, but you apply the idea of quantum mechanics to a black hole, Hawking showed that even black holes give off radiation. There's still fluctuations. Even black holes still have a temperature. So exactly the same kind of reasoning works for empty space when you have vacuum energy. Given the ideas of quantum mechanics, which we think are true, we have a lot of evidence in favor of quantum mechanics, we predict, on the basis of what we know about physics, that there will be fluctuations in empty space. That a thermometer held up there in an otherwise empty universe will still detect a non-zero temperature. So that's the part we actually are pretty confident about. Whether or not those fluctuations can give rise to another universe is still very much an open question.